Hi guys, welcome back to Mimi Days. Mimi da yo. Today, I will be unboxing things I bought at Shinjuku, which is mainly makeup. This is my last week in Japan. I'm on a shopping spree. Yeah, nothing stopping me from buying too much. But yeah, there's really so much you can buy in Japan. So today I went to Shinjuku to do some shopping. Um, I didn't go to too many shops, but I did pick up something, some really good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. So basically today I only bought stuff from these two stalls, which is Beams and I think they used to be called Tokyo Hands and now it's only Hands. So yeah, yay. So first, I want to show you guys what I got from Tokyo Hands. It's mainly makeup and some stationary little goodies. Mm, okay, I'll just start with whatever I pick. Oh, okay. This is probably the most boring thing I have from this store, but like, yeah, it's just a little journal book. Because I like to keep things on track on paper. So usually every year I get like a little journal book just so I can um, write down everything I need to do. It's pretty cute. Yeah, but I have these. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. I have these really cute stereo clear, clear files. These are in the size A5. They are so freaking cute. Oh my god, so damn cute. Look at that. Damn, so cute. <sighs> so cute. I had to get them. I really had to get them. I should have gotten every every single character. They have like they have Melody, um, Hello Kitty, and and these. Yeah, I only got two of them. And then I got a matching cinnamon roll letter writing thing. So sometimes I like to write friends little letters for their birthdays and like Christmas. So I got this. It's so cute. And I'm pretty sure you can only get these in Japan. If not, it would be really expensive. Like, probably like three times the price in Japan. I also got this matching Mimo pad, like a mini sticky Mimo pad, so you can write stuff on it. The, the design is so cute. And I also got a bunch of stickers. Oh my god, oh my god. First, we have these just really cute little stars shiny star stickers and i have these like shiny smiley face stickers oh my god japan everything is so cute and these oh my god look at that look at them i'm still thinking how to use these but like they're so cute and so special so i had to get them i'll just add them to my sticker collection i'm pretty sure i can find somewhere to use them if not i'll just collect them and this as well! So cute! Glittery shiny star stickers. Again, I'm thinking of using them on my nails. And now we're moving on to makeup. First we have... I think this is the eyeshadow palette I got. So it's from the brand Dinto. So this is a Korean brand. And this brand is pretty popular right now. I see it everywhere. I'm not sure if it's ads, but like I see everyone buying from Dinto, so and I see everyone buying this eyeshadow palette. It's in the shade 702. 702. I'm glad I went to a store to see this physically, because like if I only saw it online, I wouldn't get it, because the pictures online were way darker than than in real than the product in real life. Yeah, it's actually pretty nudie, pretty light. Um, 
like if you're someone who likes to do like um, darker makeup or like if you like um, deep colors this eyeshadow palette is not for you it's really like it's just like colors for like your base only you know but like I think this would be great for like an everyday makeup palette yeah and the packaging is pretty nice as well pretty chic pretty um just simple but it feels nice on your hand so I can't wait to use this because I really like these kind of shades so yeah can't wait to try next we have oh this is an eyeliner from Can Make. I got it because it says it's only limited to Japan and like for a limited time only <sighs> but yeah it's actually just a pink purplish eyeliner but like I mean Can Make have really good eyeliner so I don't mind having an extra one let's see oh, okay 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 it says pink but I think it's purple it's purple and can make it really cheap in Japan the cheap but good quality I love cat make. I think all Japanese girls who do makeup love cat make. Next, oh, this is another eyeliner from cat make. It is a light brown eyeliner. I'm actually using this already. I just got an extra one because I know I'm gonna use out. I'm gonna use up the other one. I'm gonna need to replace my old one soon. It's kind of drying, so I got an extra one. It's cheaper to buy in Japan than in Australia yo if you haven't tried can makes eyeliners you should really go try them they are affordable and like just overall really good quality oh, oh next we have something else from Dinto this time it is a blush in the shade 503 is it focusing not focusing. Ta -da. It's in a peachy, um, yeah, peachy color. Really, I've been really obsessed with peachy coral shades. Kind of reminds me of the Romat blush. Like the packaging is really similar, and the color is also very similar. So yeah, I'm excited to try this as well. not focusing anyway oh next I have a blue mascara like for some reason colored mascaras are very popular in Japan right now and they have all sorts of colors like pink orange green blue purple you name it so I just want to try out I already have I have an orange mascara and I also have another mascara in like a pink pinkish purple shade but I don't have anything in blue so so I got something in blue oh how do I okay okay but like I'm always really afraid to get mascaras because like they dry out if you don't use them but yeah see it's blue is blue oh the brand is Humi Humi mascara in the shade sapphire blue this is a um, another budget Japanese makeup brand but it's not as cheap as can make but it's still cheaper than most of the famous Japanese makeup brands so yeah. Ooh, wow. 
is blue. It's actually blue. What am I saying? Yeah. I'm actually really excited to try out this. Imagine having blue lashes. That would be so cool. Next. Okay, this is the same Shumi mascara, but in green. They actually have an olive one, but I got the bright green instead. Because I feel like the olive one wouldn't be as obvious when you use it on your lashes. Same packaging. This time in the green version. It's freaking green mascara, bro. I hope the color shows on my lashes. Because sometimes they don't really show. But to be honest, the packaging feels very plastic and kind of cheap. But I mean, it's not a fancy brand, so whatever. Can't wait to use this as well. Gotta rock my green lashes. Okay, the last two makeup items are... Jia Okay, you can't see a thing, you can't see a thing. Antopi no Shia Lip. So these are the lipsticks from Anne B. This brand is slightly more pricey than... Okay, not slightly. This brand is more pricey than Humi and Kamek. But this brand is very popular as well these days. Like super popular, you see them everywhere. Like everyone is buying from them. So yeah. And apparently this brand is pretty new as well. So I think it's worth trying. It's on Japanese magazines everywhere. Instagrams and all that. It's called Ant B. And I got the sheer lipsticks in the shades. Naked Pink and Naked Beige. So basically just like a light pink and like a light beige color. Okay, this is the naked pink. Okay. Naked pink. This is the packaging. Nothing too fancy. That's the thing with Japanese brands. They like to have like minimal packaging designs. Unlike the Chinese makeup brands who are very extra and fancy and super pretty with their packaging, Japanese brands tend to be very simple and just like a very minimalist, simple packaging. Oh, okay. Pink. Hmm, really nice. It's literally just like a very, very light pink shade. To be honest, I think this is more like a lip balm than a lipstick. But yeah. I love nude lipsticks. Like and like lipsticks that are not too not too overly pigmented. Cause like you can layer and you know wear it down whenever you want. Okay, next, Naked Beige. Naked Beige. Ooh. Oh, I love this shade. Wait, they look so similar. Why, why, what? Why do they look so similar? Wait, 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 let me put more. Okay. I think these are very great for like um, everyday lipsticks. Like you can wear them to school, you can wear them to work, and not be too dramatic with your makeup, you know. Okay, that's all for Tokyo Hands. Oh, and yeah, Tokyo Hands is basically a store that sells a variety of things like they have stationery, they have makeup, they even have some homeware and like toys and like cooking wear. They have all sorts of things and like 
I don't think they have clothes though. They don't have clothes. But yeah, they have like suitcases, luggages. Like, you should definitely check out Toki Hands when you're in Japan. They have so much stuff and everything is so cute. And everything is so unique. Like, there are so many things you can only buy in Japan. And they sell them at Toki Hands. So yeah, definitely check them out if you love just shopping and seeing cute things. Next we have Beam Japan. Um, I only got one thing, one thing from them, which is a t-shirt. <gasps> so cute! Look at this t-shirt. Look at that. What do they have to open it? You can't really see. No. To be honest, I was never a fan of t like this kind of t-shirt. Like, I like t-shirts that are fitted or like cropped. I don't usually wear these kind of loose t-shirts, but then this design is so cute, I had to buy it. Look at the print. Look at the print. It's so cute. What the heck? It's just really cute. And it's not too expensive. I think it's like 6,600 yen. Yeah, so that's like... 60, 67 bucks. It's branded. It's like, I'm not sure what brand this is, but like, oh, unique. Literally love at first sight. But I'm kind of worried about how I'm gonna style this. Or I'm just gonna wear it as like a everyday, you know, just to go t shirt. And like, maybe years later, it will become my pajamas. So that's all for today's shopping haul. Um, yeah, I didn't buy too much, but still. By the way, like these kind of necklaces are so in trend right now, but like, it's my first time wearing this, but I don't know how to wear it. Like, I know I'm wearing it right now, but like, for the entire day, I felt like I was being choked. Like, I still feel like I'm being choked right now. I don't know how to tie it, but yeah, it's cute. This is from Brandy Melville. I got it a few days ago from the Tokyo shop. Yeah. So yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Take care, stay safe, be happy. Bye-bye.